Vanessa Feltz had the year from hell before her split from fiancé Ben Ofoedu. The TV star had a turbulent 12 months with a tragic family death, upheaval in her work life and turning 60 playing havoc with her peace of mind. It's been a dramatic year, Vanessa admitted in December. But as she settled down to a family Christmas, without her partner of 16 years who was busy working away, Vanessa couldn't have predicted she would be spending the new year dealing with crushing heartbreak. We take a look back at Vanessa's year of hell that changed her life forever. Milestone Birthdays Vanessa and Ben both celebrated milestone birthdays in 2022 with Vanessa turning 60 in February and Ben turning 50 in June. At the time Vanessa joked that it was time to trade in her hot toy boy as he hit 50. We have nothing in common and obviously everybody thought it couldn't possibly work, even us, she joked on the Table Manners podcast at the time. I know I don't look it, of course, and am a walking miracle, but I was 60 in February and you'll know that that means Hess about to be 50, and for a toy boy that's old, right? And I reckon it's time to trade him in, don't you think so? Has done good service for 16 years but, you know, has outgrown the role, isn't he? Later in the year, Vanessa seemed more reflective as she told Best Magazine, it's been a dramatic year. I turn 60, a big deal, quite frankly. Ben turned 50, another big deal. Quit BBC after 33 years Vanessa said her decision to quit the BBC after 33 years was hellish and absolutely terrible. The broadcaster broke down in tears as she told her Radio 2 breakfast show listeners she was leaving after nearly 20 years. I was aware of women over the age of 60 suddenly biting the dust, she told the Guardian of her fears. I don't think that I would have been exempt from that at all. She now presents the weekday drive time show on talk radio and talk TV. My show now is exactly 12 hours later than my old show, it was 4 a.m. and now it's 4 p.m., she told Best Magazine. My first day on the job, the p.m. was Liz Truss, it was her first day. Who knew she wouldn't hang on for long? On the fourth day the Queen died, which I announced. I take 14 limo bikes a week, whizzing around London for work. They're all seismic events. Ben's brother Roy died the family was struck by tragedy in September when Ben lost his younger brother Roy at just 47. Vanessa said she was truly heartbroken by the loss and devastated for her fiancé. Darling Ben I am devastated at the tragically premature loss of your beloved brother, she said at the time. I love you too much to see you in such pain. You have my heart, my hand and my prayers my love. Granddaughter Stephanie born hours later Vanessa went through a whirlwind of emotions as in an unexpected twist of fate her fourth grandchild Stephanie was born just hours later. I literally dashed from one hospital to the other. That was overwhelming, she later said. Vanessa described the day as a whirlwind of emotions and said she had experienced the circle of life firsthand. Gosh, we've had such a whirlwind of a time in the last couple of days, she said at the time. In the space of about 12 hours, Ben lost his beautiful brother Roy at the age of just 47 and about 7 or 8 hours later, the beautiful Cicely Violet was born. So we have experienced the whole circle of life in less than 24 hours in our family. Daughter hospitalized in November Vanessa's eldest daughter Allegra, 37, ended up in hospital after catching a nasty strain of influenza.
Allegra was taken unbelievably ill, testing positive for that horrid day strain of influenza that kills people, and spent a week on a drip, Vanessa Syed. It concentrates the mind on what really matters. I'm acutely aware of not taking anything for granted. Christmas without Ben at the end of the year Ben headed to work playing Dandini in the Cinderella pantomime in Portsmouth, forcing Vanessa to spend Christmas without him. She headed to her holiday home in East Cork, Ireland with her daughters, son-in-law and grandchildren. Ben's away in Pando in Portsmouth playing Dandini in Cinderella, he can't get to us and come back in time, she said. It's sad to spend it apart, but he adores Pando and after a two-year hiatus due to Covid, I can't begrudge him, has back doing what he loves. Vanessa was it to know that it would be the last Christmas they would be together before their split. Earlier this week, Vanessa admitted the news that she and Fats and small singer Ben had parted after 16 years was both a sudden shock and a gradual thing. The pair met in 2005, after Vanessa had divorced Michael Currer five years earlier following cheating allegations.